Hi, this is Andrea Kelly, and today I'm going to show you how I created a rotating text effect and then how I used this in a video. So I created this library asset for myself because I saw a video, it was a video ad somewhere, and it had this rotating header text come, come in, and I thought, that's a really cool effect. I wonder if I could replicate this in Camtasia. So I'm going to show you how I did this. Now what we're looking at right here is the library asset that I made for myself with the rotating text and in its simplest form I basically have it rotating. There's obviously four sides. I have it rotating one, two, three, four so it does a full circle. And let me run you through that real quick. So every two seconds it rotates. The top line goes Counter or clockwise, the bottom line goes uh, counterclockwise. So I thought, okay, I really like this. And let me show you, first of all, let me show you how I used it in an actual video. And then I'm going to dive deeper into this library asset and show you how I created it. And then you can make your own and then maybe you could do something else with it. I thought this was kind of a cool effect and there are probably multiple ways that you can tweak this to do some other things, uh, maybe faster movement or, or whatever. So, so let's go ahead and I'm going to play the video. Okay, here it goes. So that was pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this and we can get into the tutorial part. Okay, so um, here we are in the uh, project that has the library asset open for the rotating text. And let me dive into it. And first of all, you can see that there are basically two lines and I all I did was create it once and then duplicate it and have it go in the opposite direction. So we're really just going to focus on that. So I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, the uh, library asset, this group of four rotating circular text. I'm going to click on the plus to open its tab. And then I've got uh, clockwise rotate and counterclockwise rotate. For right now, let's just focus on clockwise rotate. So I'm going to hide that just to get it out of sight. So we're going to focus on the clockwise rotate text. And here are the, when I've got them rotating and the degrees that I had them on, on the rotate properties. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to open this. We're going to go down, way down into the, the beginning level and then we'll wor work our way up a little bit. So I'm going to click on this plus to open up the clockwise rotate text group. And I want you to notice what we have. So I've got a shape that is hidden. Let me unhide that. And that's just how what I use. The shape is what I used to line the text up with, help me make it even. And then I hid the shape from view because it served its purpose. It helped me line the text up. So let's, we've got the text at the top that's rotating. And then this text on the right that says looks and then uh, let's skip over this one first and then the one on the left says crazy so let's talk about the one on the bottom it's you can see it's a little different it's in a group it's because I had I needed to have it upside down and the only way that Camtasia would let me make it upside down is if I grouped it so if I go into that you can see that it's actually just one text item and I've turned it upside down. I basically have the rotation on that to be 180. You can see it over here, it's 180. So I grouped that and then I was able to manipulate this text in the rotation along with everything else and I didn't try and flip flop the way Camtasia wants to do that. So we basically have four text items, a square shape to get everything lined up and let's go ahead and I'm going to hide that shape that's how I set the text up at the beginning. Let's close this clockwise rotate text tab. And here I have the counterclockwise. Let's unhide that. 
And if I go into that, you can see it's really just a duplication of the original clockwise text. Same thing. I just have it, uh, let me take a look at why it's in a different position. So uh, the clockwise rotate text, as you can see, if I go into the uh, visual properties, it's at 100% size of how I made it. And then I, I copied it, copied and pasted it onto a new track. That's what was going to be my counterclockwise. And then I took this and I scaled that down to 85%. So it basically brought it in a little bit smaller and a little bit below so that it lined up perfectly. So I've got a top line and a bottom line, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the animations. If I click on the first animation for a clockwise rotate text, you can see, go to properties, it's at zero, okay? So if I Watch the rotation Z right up here, minus 90 degrees. And then I continue to do that. The next one, you can watch it, minus 180. See it up here, minus 180. And the next one rotates, minus 270. And for a full circle, we've got it at minus 360. So that's how I did the clockwise rotate text group. And then on the counterclockwise, all I did was I changed the, let's click on that. I changed the rotation properties to be 90 instead of, instead of minus 90. So basically I took out the minus in front of each one of those and it perfectly lines up with the clockwise rotate text group. Go here, you can see here, 270 instead of minus 270, and then 360. So that's how I made the clockwise and counterclockwise tracks. Now, if you wanted them to both be going in a clockwise uh, rotation, you simply would not change the Z rotation properties on the copied group. So anyway, that's how I set this up. Let's just run through this again real quick. Every two seconds, changes. The other thing I did on these groups is to set the motion blur visual effect on both of those. So I wanted to have a motion blur effect, and that's in visual effects, and then a, a motion blur right here. I dragged that here, and I, I basically kept these um, default properties of that just to Mid, middle of the road intensity, but you can play with how you want it to look. And really that's all I did to set this up. It was, it was really pretty simple. Once I figured out what I wanted it to do, look how easy it is. It's very simplistic. Uh, the, the key is to get everything lined up using a shape to help you do that is very helpful. And then you hide the shape because all I needed it for was to help me line everything up. And then the other trick there is to take the text that's on the bottom because you, you want it to be upside down looking like at this point because when, you, when it goes around in the circle, you want it to stay upright. The trick there was to group that text. So when you have it in a project as just one item, and if you're going to have music to it and you want to set the movement or the rotation of these text items to the beat or the tempo of the music, this is where you will come in and change that. You'll set some sort of marker to help you time it with the beat and the tempo, and then you would adjust these animation items accordingly to help you do that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual project file that I have this in. Okay, so this is the project that I use this in. This is the actual video that I have that I created and we, we watched earlier. So here's, along with the, all of the other library assets and groups that I, that I have for the full video, here is the, right here is the library asset or the group for the rotating 
the four rotating circular text, and then I also have it about part of the way through of the video, and you see it right here. So it is. So I have it coming in a little bit faster, more to the beat, whereas the ones earlier, I've got it every two seconds changing. And at this group over here, I've got it I've got them changing every one second. So feel free to play around with that based on the look that you want and the tempo that you want to keep and the, the beat of the song that you've got um, playing or however you want to do that. But this is how I set it up for this particular video. So that's how I made that work. Um, once I figured out the text rotation element, then this particular video just blossomed. I created all the other elements that, that went with it. I pulled from my library of animated text library assets that I've created to help me with designs and put them all together and then created whatever else I needed to create for this whole video. So anyway, I wanted to show you that the uh, text rotation element is really pretty simple. I used a shape to help me line everything up, all the text up, and then I used the rotation properties just to help me incrementally move it around in a circle on a beat. So I hope you found this little tutorial helpful and maybe you could create your own rotating text for Camtasia and then figure out how to use it in your project. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.